I'm sure like me, you must have wondered why time is going so fast. It feels like days, weeks pass by and we don't even realize it. Even when we do realize it, it feels confusing and frustrating, like we are losing control of our lives and not making most of it. Also, don't you think it's strange how time flies by when we are having fun and it seems to slow down when we are bored? Why is that? Why is the way time measures itself and how we feel it works are quite different? I assure you, by end of this video, you will have all the answers you need. The concept of time has fascinated writers and philosophers for years. In 2004, an experiment was conducted on the scientific theory called the oddball effect, a theory that explains how our perception of time changes when we encounter something new or unexpected. When participants watched a monitor flash same image of shoe multiple times, followed by picture of a flower, even though both images were shown for the same duration, most participants believed that the flower had been shown on screen for longer. Study concluded that because the flower image was new and different from the repeated shoe image, this made participants think that time lasted longer while they looked at it. So what does this really mean? If we compare this experiment to our daily lives, we can see that as we grow older, our perception of time changes. We become part of a routine that is similar to seeing an image of shoe but on a daily basis. We wake up, go to work and see the same people every day. As a result, we don't have many new experiences. But if you think back to our childhood, we were constantly exposed to new experiences such as going on a summer vacation where every hour of the day was full of new adventures. This made our brain lay down dense networks to remember these events and experiences, which made time seems to slow down. Now that we have become more familiar with the world, our brain writes down less information. This can confuse us when a week has passed by and we don't even realize it. So how do we make time slow down again? Well, when you try new things such as meeting new people or even doing something as simple as trying a new way to commute to work, you explore unfamiliar surroundings. Your brain starts processing a lot of new information such as the sights, sounds, smells and the taste of the new environment. This way, we can make time to slow down again. So now that we understand why time passes by without us even realizing it, let's understand why it flies by even faster when we are having fun. Well, it all has to do with the flow of dopamine in our brain. When we are fully engaged in an activity like playing game or watching a movie, our brain releases a lot of dopamine. As a result, our brain perceives that less time has passed than actually has. On the other hand, when we are bored, like standing in a line waiting for something, our brain don't release as much dopamine. We are just waiting for something to happen, which is why time seems to pass more slowly. Similarly, stress can also affect our perception of time. When we have lot of work to do and less time to do it, the more stressed we are, the less time we have to take in our surroundings. This can make it feel like the time is flying by. To sum up, it's important to note that experiencing new things and enjoying something are not necessarily the same thing. The more information our mind takes in, the slower time seems to pass. The more engaging task our mind takes in, the faster time seems to pass. This is why time can seem to slow down when traveling to a new country for the first time and speed up when spending time with family and friends. By breaking out of comfort zones once in a while, we can bring back that sense of childhood wonder and make the most of the moments we have. 